Hello everyone, Ombi Gaming here and welcome back to another video. Today I am back here in, in Emergency Response, Liberty County, and today I am going to be giving you a full beginner's guide to Liberty County and how to do everything in Liberty County that you need to do uh, if you've just bought or joined the game. So I know that a lot of you watching this may not be beginners, but if you are a beginner, then this is a full tutorial to do um, and like what to do and uh, how to do things. So here we go. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please make sure to help it by my channel by subscribing if you can and join the Discord and Roblox server uh, in the uh, description below. So I hope you enjoy and let's get started. Okay, so starting off, um, the first thing that you need to know is that the game is actually 125 Robux. So now this is uh, at the time of recording is, so it could change, I don't know, but that is normally the price of the game because it is in better and uh, yeah, so if you have not bought the game yet or you are thinking of buying the game, if you do have 120 Robux to spare, um, then uh, make sure to buy it because it definitely is a really good game if you like roleplay games. Um, and I would definitely recommend it because they have so many updates coming out like all the time. Um, another thing to um, like make note of is that uh, a private server also does cost 25 Robux. So if we want to uh, create a server, uh, let's go over here. Uh, it's being very slow today, but if we, if I want to create a private server, it will cost me twenty five robux. Um, and uh, so, yeah, there you go. You just type in your name. I've got a private server here with VIP, uh, with the premium, which costs two hundred robux. But uh, if you want a private server for you and your friends playing, or you and your fans, um, it is twenty five robux. So. Not that much, if you consider, but yeah. So if you want a private server, 25 Robux and 200 for premium. Anyway, let's get started into the basics. Okay, so when you come into the game, you will be spawned in the civilian spawn, okay? So you'll be here. You'll probably have, uh, if you've just joined the game and you just bought it, you'll probably have um, around 10,000 cash and uh, you will be able to spawn. Go over to one of these uh, orange uh, orange and grey spawning points all over the civilian spawn. So this, by the way, is the civilian spawn. I'll talk about the whole map later. But you can go over here and um, as a, uh, like, once you've joined the game, you'll probably, uh, you'll get this car for free. And you'll probably be able to afford the Crown Victoria, which is a new car into the game. And you'll probably be able to afford this. Anything else uh, is probably a bit too expensive. Anyway. So once you've uh, spawned your car in, um, oh my gosh, okay, so once you've spawned your car in, um, you'll be automatically teleported in your car. Now, the controls for the vehicle, um, it's pretty much uh, like very simple. L is for lights on the keyboard. Um, I don't know what it is on controller, but I don't know if this game is supported on controller, so you have to find that out. Um, so anyway, uh, L is uh, L is the lights. Uh, G, if you press G down, that is uh, like the um, warning lights. Um, then press G to stop them. Q is uh, left blinker or indicator, and E is right indicator or blinker. Uh, then uh, to get out of your car or to enter your car, uh, all you need to do is go up to like the driver's seat or the passenger seat, whichever door you want to enter from. So if you want to drive the car, you press E and to get out, you just press space. Then if you want to be like uh, in the front passenger seat, you can go over here, enter passenger and uh, you can see that uh, on here I'm actually in the passenger seat. So now um, if you go over here, you'll be able to uh, drive over. Now, um, you, if you want to, um, <clears throat> if you want to disobey the law and go past a red light, when you go past a red light, let's just say, let's go past this red light over here. Uh, you see it, my screen flashed, meaning that the speed camera has caught me, and so that now the police can technically fine me um, up to 150 um, in-game. Uh, money, uh, don't worry, it's not like $150, but they can find you in-game money um, and then that will come out of your account. But that is not your Robux account or your Roblox account. No Robux will be deducted if you get fined, so that's all good. So now there is two gas stations over the map. If we go into here, this is the menu bar. 
and you can see there's loads of different things let's just talk about this quickly if we go over to the far left we have the team change now this is where you can be whichever team you want so we have civilians river city police liberty county sheriff river city fire and rescue and department of transportation or the dot so now if you want to be river city police all you have to do press on the icon uh, the same for all of them you just press on them uh, and then you type in your number it can be from 0001 to uh, 9999 and then all you need to do is just press join team um, and now there is a limit to how many people can join in normal servers but in private servers it can be unlimited over here we've got the store now this is where you can buy weapons and gear so in gear we have a lockpick to uh, break into people's houses and we have an RFID disruptor to um, like uh, hack the ATMs over here we have different types of west weapons we have the basic pistol which is 900 the machine pistol which i believe is 1000 uh, 1200 uh and uh, over here is the um p90 carbon gale assault rifle nova assault gun and the machine gun which comes with the uh, game pass uh, in here, uh, if we go into a gun, we can see the magazine size, and this one is 30, damage, so this will get 5 uh, HP off a player, fire rate, 1200, and it has 180 rounds. Then, if you want to buy a mag refill, all you have to do is press here, and you can see that this gun is already full, but if we go into a pistol, let's purchase the pistol, and we can buy a mag refill, for 90 but uh, mine is already full over here we have the player list so I'm in a private server so this is why I'm the only person here but uh, in a normal servers it should be um, all the way filled up and it will have the team here so you can see I'm on civilian and if we press on a player it will say uh, so my highest wanted level is 2.5 stars my different XP for uh, teams so look at this perfect number 7000 XP um, and uh, yes and then you can see, um, yeah, you can see that uh, all of my um, all of my XP over here. Um, but the one thing you can't see is money, and that's that's a good thing. Okay, over here is the map. Now this is quite uh, this is quite an important thing. So this is the map. Now there's there's probably four main sections to this to, this, uh, to the liberty county so we have the city which is over here so all these like buildings over here so i'd say this bit over here oh so this bit is the city and to scroll in and out use the middle scroll button on a mouse okay and then over here we will have the housing suburb you can see lots of houses over here and like the woodlands over here would be the rural area you can see uh we've got uh, a few fields a farmhouse lots of dirt roads and then over here would be the industrial place not really but uh, yeah the kind of okay if we put in ATMs now this is all the ATMs that you can rob you see we've got one just behind us over there um, so you can see the ATM over there um, over we've got one over here by the civilian spawn you've got one over here by the parking garage we've got one over here by the power plant one by the police station one by the uh, hospital and uh, one by the farms over here then if we press, press landmarks this will give you all of the places so this is the proper names for them so we've got river city over here uh, we've got the tunnel entrance mountain region rural housing housing suburb and if you want this map um, it's you can just literally search up liberty county map online it's really handy then if we go into key points let's just unmark those we have the all the different things you can see this is a police station the uh, civilian spawn gas station um, parking or the like the car shop you see all of the different things and we've also got another gas station over there so there's a gas station on each side of the map if you want it okay moving on get cash so this is where you can actually buy in-game money for robux uh, so you can see here we've got uh, We've got all the different uh, options. Um, I don't normally buy these because I don't really feel the need to. But yeah, if you want to, then there you go. Servers. So this is private servers. So you can see here that there's quite a few private servers uh, that are like open at the moment. Um, 
Now, the one thing that is important is if they have a starboard side, like all of these, this means they are a premium server. So they have bought the 200 ro well, they have bought the premium for 200 Robux, and uh, yeah, they're all premium. Um, so um, if you want to join them, all you have to do is press on one and join server if they are f uh, not full. Okay, and then info is just information about the different, the different um, ranks and uh, all of that. Okay, so now we have done that. Um, now, when you have run out of gas, so that's this meter in the bottom right corner, you can go over here and pump gas. So this is um, only one dollar for me because I haven't got much, but uh, you can see I've currently got uh, 145,000. I can fuel up and there we go. It is awful. Okay, so we can go over here and um, let's go over to the car... Um, the car shop where you can edit your car oh great also if you crash your car too many times you will see uh, it will start to smoke so um, depending on how fast you crash and there we go my car is starting to smoke so um, that will happen all you need to do don't fret unless your car starts going on fire then hop out as quickly as possible because uh, you'll start to get injured anyway We'll go over here. Let's just spawn ourselves another vehicle as, um, yeah, it's, it's quite hard to demonstrate with a vehicle that's smoking. Okay. And also, while we're over here, um, when you have enough money, all you have to do is go over here and purchase a new car. So we can see over here, this has um, a one bar, just over one bar horsepower. This one's uh, only half. And then some of the fastest car, like a Lamborghini or a Bugatti, uh, that is uh, five bars. So then you can set the color over here. So that's pretty sweet. Um, and also, if you're in a private server, it will not save. So if you buy, if you want to buy this car, so a Nissan GTR in a private server, you say, okay, let's let's buy this, and then you regret buying it. Don't worry because if you just leave the game and then join again, you will not have that car again. It will just not save. Um, but it will save in a public server. So if you've just joined the game and you haven't selected uh, which server you want to be in, it will save like that. So um, just be aware of that when buying because. And now I know a lot of people have regretted like buying very expensive cars, but here we go. Okay, so over here, this is just by the civilian spawn, pretty simple to get to by the gas station over there. All you do, drive into one of these with the garage doors open, and um, it will transport me into this nice showroom, or this uh, garage. Then in here, you can change the car colour, so we can select whatever car we, colour we want, and then purchase it for the amount of uh, money it costs. You can change the license plate. So if I wanted to change mine to um, gaming, uh, I can continue waiting on server. And um, yes, I can purchase that now. And then we can go into change plate design. So we can so I can just change the plate. You can see it's uh, you can see over here if I zoom in, it's changing, but it's pretty cool. Okay. And then just press exit garage. And it will, it will just wait over here and then your car is over here. Okay, now let's go on to some of the other teams and uh, yeah, show you what to do. Okay, so we go into team change. Let's go for the police first of all. 989, here we go. Okay, and you'll be teleported. And you can see first of all that a lot of things have changed. Over here we have the massive bar and um, if... If a call comes up on your MTD, it will come up here and you'll be able to see that. You can collapse that if you want uh, or however suits you best. We've got the different radios, police, fire, DOT. And then if you want to talk to your fellow mates, press T and then just press in this type bar here. And then you can press hi. And you can see it doesn't pop up above my head like if I press forward slash hi. Okay. Oh, sorry. That had the T on. So if I press that. Hi, this comes up over my head um, because you can see I, I just pressed it without the transmit, whereas transmit transmits it to everyone um, because if you just talk like this, uh, only the people around you will be able to see that. Okay, so let's go and have a look at our gear. So uh, at first, we'll be started off with a cell phone. This is if you want to call people. You have this on the civilian team as well, and you can call emergency services. Pretty simple, straightforward. 
We have a flashlight, so if you are going somewhere in the dark, you can uh, use the flashlight and to like uh, guide the way. Uh, over here, for we just log in. This is our uh, MTD, so we can see active calls. So when an active call will come up, like an ATM robbery or something like that, it will come up with the location, the caller, the description, and the responding units. So if you click respond, there'll be a button here to respond, and there'll be a button here to show on map. And you can just press those and it's pretty straightforward. Searching records, we can uh, search plate cars. So if, if you have a if you're pulling over a vehicle, you can just uh, search their plate up here. So if we search on gaming, I know it won't come up, but uh, there you go, it will come up there. Uh, and you can also search uh, you can search up users. So it will have recent citations and recent arrests. And I have none because I'm a very good person. Anyway, we can go back again and we can also uh, view most wanted so we can uh, players up here will come up with their wanted level as well and then also we have show call map so uh, if we have a call selected then it will say for example we have an ATM robbery by the parking garage and it will have a like a ping over here okay that's pretty simple and to close it just press this red X now we have our radar gun radar gun so if we stand out here and a car drives past um, basically once the car drives past um, it will show the top speed and the current speed of the car if you're aiming at it so if a car drives past here you can just hold it over here and it will say for example 20 miles per hour and then you can uh, citate it say so you can give the person a citation if you want um, and that's pretty simple we also have a citation book um, I mean yep citation book all you need to do is click on a player cite them and it will just come up with the options and it's pretty safe forwards uh, we also got handcuffs all you need to do is if a player comes over here I can just hold down E um, when they come over here and arrest and that is all straight forwards okay now we go over here into the locker room where we're held we can go out here and we can change our loadout so when you are started you'll probably be a cadet um, so you can put this on um, and then as you go up the ranks you will get more uniform so when you get up to an officer you'll be able to wear this and then if you buy the detective game pass um, or the SWAT game pass you will be allowed those anyway as starting you will not be allowed any of these um, but that's fine because oh let's get back into our uh, cadet uniform so it's sometimes a bit slow because at the moment there's so many people playing robots, which is great news. Anyway, then we can come over here to this door. Uh, sometimes get confused, but over here to this door and we can press E to spawn a vehicle. So now you'll start off with being able to own this. So now this is the Crown Victoria. So this is just a normal, like, you know, the normal Vic. Um, it will spawn over there. It's being a bit slow for me at the moment, but here you go. And you can see um, all the stuff here. Uh, it's got a nice push bar on the front and um, here we go so um, we go over here then we can um, let's just show you the light bars at the moment so we go over here there will be a panel in the right so now if you want this is for setting the lights so if we want to press cruise we can see that the lights will turn on rear the uh, the rear lights will flash and then if we press full uh, the lights on the push bar will and the all of that then we can go over here into the traffic lights we can press uh, we can press uh, the left one so going left the middle one like directing people either way the right and the uh, flashing one and then just press them to turn them off okay lights we have the left alley right alley takedown and spotlight now spotlight you can actually uh, you can actually move so if we want to go over here we can you can see that the spotlight is moving at the moment and then if you want it to go back to the middle just press reset and there you go and then just to turn it off just press it again once you um once you have your lights on full you can't if you just have them on rear um but yeah so if you have you can see that it will not let us uh, uh oh yeah sorry it will not let us with automatic you can see that all of these are just uh, red so you have to go into full and you can use your lights here uh, you different sirens and there you go 
Now, um, with a police officer, um, you can actually access your trunk. So you can go over here. Uh, you can access this as a civilian as well, but there's not much to put in it. But or you go uh, over here, and we also have in here, you'll be able to access cones, flares, and a riot shield. And those will be the things you're allowed as a as starting off, um, because you will be allowed flares, which you can put down. Uh, so you can put down a flare over here, and a flare over here. And then you can also put down some cones. So if you wanted to put some cones down to direct traffic, put them down like that and then you have a riot shield which will protect you from bullet shots um, if there are any <laughs> um, so if anyone's shooting at you and you want to uh, you want to protect yourself then yeah you can just hold this up and it will you it will protect yourself from that okay and once you've got these set down you can all you need to do is just go over to them and pick them up with e so pretty simple um, then also as a police officer you'll get paychecks every I think it's 10 minutes and they can vary between 1000 and 1600 so that's a lot of money um, so if you just stay in the game for a bit um, you will end up getting a lot of money for an hour so if you stay in the game for an hour you'll get a lot of money and then you also get XP from patrolling you can see that you'll be ranking up as well okay now uh yeah driving is pretty simple with these these vehicles um it's all just uh normal controls wasd um as a police officer you are allowed to go past the lights you can see that i'm not getting um i'm not getting like white flashes on my screen um but that's only if you are um a civilian and going past the lights when you are not allowed to also as a police officer if you are pulling over a wanted suspect um, you're allowed to search their boot so all you need to do is you'll like park them so pretend they're a civilian vehicle you'll go up to their boot and it'll give you the option to search trunk and all you need to do all you'll be able to do is just search them and it'll come up in the bottom right hand corner with uh, what the contents in there are and what what's actually in the in the trunk of that vehicle so that's pretty nice that was uh, one of the recent updates um, but uh, yeah that is again uh, as I've said, um, it's Liberty County do try and push out updates pretty uh, quickly. Also, another thing I forgot to mention is if we press Y on the keyboard, so let's just press Y, you have this uh, walkie-talkie or this radio. Um, and now you can say, um, it will come up on here so that other units can see. You can say on scene if, uh, if there's uh, if you're like a crime scene and you're on scene. So you can say, show me 1023 on scene. You can press available. Which would say, show me 10 8 in service, which means uh, like the dispatch, then uh, they can they can say, okay, yep, uh, Stephen 17765 is available. En route, so if you're en route to a, uh, to a call, then you can press that, if, because it's quite hard to type when you're driving. So uh, then we've also got give location, so it will say, my 1020 is near civilian spawn, because it is. Uh, and then if we go over towards, uh, towards the parking garage then it will say my 1023 uh, or my 1020 is near the uh, parking garage so let's just do that now why give location yep you can see my 1020 is near the parking garage nice and then we can also say requesting backup so um, I need backup my location is near the parking garage so if for example you're in a shootout um, let's get our radar gun out pew, pew. anyway uh, we've got our radar gun out um, and uh, we're involved in a shootout, we can just go, oh, um, yep, go out of first person, uh, request backup, and then other units can come and uh, help you and assist you. Okay, so uh, I'm going to wrap that up for um, episode one of a beginner's tutorial to Liberty County. I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, if you've learned something, please make sure to help the channel by subscribing if you can. I will have a video of this series coming out. I'll have um, the next few videos of this covering all the different teams and everything else in the game shortly. So um, that will probably be out uh, later this week. So I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please make sure to help out the channel by subscribing and liking. And I really appreciate you watching this video. Um, and we are nearly up to 100 subscribers. So thank you so much, everyone. So, uh, with that all said, I will see you in the next video. Bye!